Hello everyone, Martin here speaking and I wanted to demonstrate the current status of our isometric RPG engine for the Atari Lynx. This here is an LCD modded Lynx 2 unit and I'll just power it on and uh, I wanted to demonstrate where we're currently at. It's running from this very nice SD card and it says video here just because I prepared it for this short take. So, okay, let me zoom in. So we get to see something. I will start talking a little bit after the engine started. It'll just take a couple of seconds to program it. And you will hear some kind of loud music. Our prior art logo. Okay. I will tune down uh, the music for the moment. It's four channels played uh, samples, so it's a sort of a mod player at 6 kHz, but uh, it'll probably not make it into the final game, not as such, because it's just too high memory consumption to keep all the samples in. So, what you see here is our um, first room of these uh, engine tests on the left hand side. Here you see the uh, mana bar, on the right hand side the life bar, and the um, main character is centered and you can walk around this isometric space there's a barrel and it's already implemented that you can open it or close it and you may notice that the um, character sprite is in front of the barrel and you can as well walk behind of it so that's something I'm sort of proud of to have a fully working depth to all the objects in the screen and there's these shiny red gems here that you can pick up to increase your life meter as you can see another chest there's nothing in there, but you can nicely open and close it. And there's a closed drawer. Let's check what's up with that. I can open it and enter. And you see there's another life gem. Some other small props lying on the floor. I can actually again walk behind them. There's a silver key I can pick up. Well, it does nothing for the moment. Another chest. And when I return, you will notice that the steady state of the individual props or items kept persistent in memory and hopefully later on will be stored as a safe game on Neprom. Okay, let's go to the next room. Here you see there's a Marnock gem, I'll take it, pick it up. And also to demonstrate just the different layers, there's a small fence that's actually blocking so I can't really walk against it. And you also notice that the um, character stops his walking sequence once he's actually stopped walking. I think it's quite annoying that many games don't do that. And you can nicely also walk behind the fence, right? You see now the fence is blocking him. Now he's in front of the fence. Seems pretty trivial, but actually it's not. And let's enter probably the final room of this demonstration. So Dan did an amazing job with the graphics and the tiles. So lots of barrels that you can open. Another one. And here's a chest and um, one well, of the largest changes in this engine recently was to completely replace and re-implement the room structure and the object structure. So each of the objects or items has its own actions that can be fully written. Everything is written in manually in assembler. I prefer it this way, so not taking any pre-existing libraries or even coding in C. I think for an 8-bit machine like the Lynx it's really not suited to code it in C, or at least it's not what I take the most fun out of. And this is a trapped chest, so if I open it, it's coded that it really reduces four units of energy. Closing, of course, does not the same. I can pick up another life gem, close it, open it again, and the same happens. Of course, I could also disable it after the first occasion. And again, you can see switching rooms is pretty fast. I will not go there now. That's maybe for some from other video at some later time and so the rooms are probably connected via doors and the person knows already where you're supposed to stand when he enters or leaves. I think controls are pretty nice so next step we're probably implementing a menu and uh, actually item dealing you see some of this little book and this little sword they are just graphical user interface mock-up basically for the moment but uh, it will also be filled with life and also coming is of course the implementation of monsters or maybe other non-player characters. 
So stay tuned for more and thank you for watching. I'll just zoom out to the links again. Highlighting it a little bit. And then just switching off. Bye bye.